everyone, doing my first uh, subtitle review. I'm doing a South Korean movie. And once I get to the premise, you'll understand why I saw this movie. And I think everyone else should go see this movie if it's playing in your area. The unfortunately titled Extreme Job. Extreme Job, directed by Lee Byung Hino is a South American or a South Korean action comedy where the premise is we have a narcotics division a narcotics group who is terrible at their job who go to stake out a drug lord due to a tip from another uh, department in the police and in the course of doing so decide that what they need to do so they can go undercover is to buy a fried chicken restaurant they accidentally make it good and now they're busy so busy with the fried chicken place that they no longer have time to look for the bad guy this movie one yes that's the premise of this movie undercover cops make up a fried chicken stand and hilarity ensues I was afraid going into this movie that they were going to try to play it straight and for the most part the characters are straight but they're making fun of each other. We have a crew of five people. We have the captain, we have the girl, and then we have three other guys. One of them is a rookie, the other one is good at spying, and the other one he's kind of like the muscle or the heavy. And it's been a while, a lot of people, I would like to compare this to like the Police Academy movies where um, a lot of the comedy comes from the people, but like these are more realistic people. Like you don't have someone like Hightower who's huge or um, the, the guy who used to make the voices. Like everyone else is trying to be straight but they're being fools to each other, so it makes us laugh. Um, the guy who plays the captain, I enjoyed him a lot. He definitely took the lead role. A lot of his humor was coming from just his reactions to the other people. Like, people, one of them would say a terrible idea. It's like, what the hell's wrong with you? That's an awful idea. And things like that. There's a lot, there is some slapstick. Like, the movie sets the tone really early. When there is a, they're trying to catch this uh, drug dealer or dope dealer, and you find out right from the beginning that they're awful. They try to repel in, the girl repels in, and she's like stuck halfway. She's just spinning around. The captain repels down, and he's like terrible at it too. Like he's almost falling. He's asking the criminal to help him into the window. That's where a lot of the humor lies in this, and I. This is really a lost start because we don't get a lot of these comedies anymore. The one thing I can think about this movie is I didn't feel like anyone was ad-libbing. Like, a lot of the comedies now feels like someone's trying to be the standout star or someone is trying to, like, pitch jokes in the middle of a movie. And this one, the movie, the humor lies more in just the concept. Like, the whole thing that these cops become... Fried, chi fried chicken, a uh, fried chicken restaurant, and then on top of it, they're actually really good at it. It's so much so it amazes them, and that's really funny. There is some really good action scenes. My issue with the action scenes, though, is they use shaky cam and they use fast editing. So at times I was like having a headache because, or I was just getting nauseous because there was too many cuts. And I know they do that to try to ramp up the action, but I never liked it. So it kind of bothered me a little. But that was about it. The last fight scene was really cool too, though, where you have this big, sprawling epic. Um, there are some nice turns, especially the ending. I liked the humor between the characters. It was really spot on. Uh, the bad guy stuff was okay. This is another thing I like about movies like this, especially these old school type movies. You don't need backstory for everyone. Everyone's information and who they are and how they act and how everyone else treats them. 
Even the bad guys, you know, he's barely in the movie for the first two thirds of the movie. But he's really, you know, he's the driving force by the time you finally see him. It's kind of like that Dr. Claw thing where you know who's running the show, but it's not really important that he shows up. But when he does, you know, he ramps up the, the, the movie and gets them back on track. Um, yeah, I just liked a lot of the main characters. I thought, it, I thought the humor was actually pretty good. There's a scene where two people are crying and the audience that I was with was in tears laughing because it, it was so ridiculous. The captain was so over the top. Uh, played by Ryu. I can't say enough things about what I thought about the captain. He was really good. A lot, all, the, all the characters got their own moments to shine. No one felt like it was their show. So I really liked um, Extreme Job. I just wish it had a better title. Um, if you have, like I said, it's a very limited release. If you have a chance in your area, go see it. I'm going to give this movie a 7.5. I thought it was solid. I hope to see more movies like this. Yeah. Are you going to see Extreme Jobs? Was this review enough to, for you to go, hmm, what a weird freaking idea. Yeah, it is. Um, let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and next time. Break the line! We have to go!